Hello guys and welcome again to our mini course and video series on creating learning management system. The last result from previous lesson was our homepage with seeding of fake data for courses. Today's goal is to have a page of viewing the actual course. So for that we have several steps. First, I don't really like what I've done in previous lessons with prices. They are really uh, not, uh, not convenient to watch and and actually wrong. So when I'm using random float, apparently I've, I've googled the documentation and random float has some parameters. So let's have max decimals two as price and then min max, so min is zero and max price should be like 199 for example. And let's reseed all the database actually. I will go to um, correct folder Click LMS, I think, clear everything. And actually let's 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 clean all the database. Okay. And run artisan migrate seed. Everything from scratch, including on the last step, it should be our courses. Everything went fine. Let's see what we've got in the database. We have some courses with pretty much okay price. And we have five courses, right? Let's return to our homepage. Yep, good, we have five courses. So this is the first thing. What's next on my list? Um, all right, uh, now let's go to our blade index file, which is here, the index. And for now we have only one Actually, I'll remind you for those who haven't watched, we have our home controller with basically courses list and index view. That index view is not going to stay like this. We will have to have a template and partials like the whole header, footer and stuff and blade. So let's create exactly that. We'll have the main template which will repeat in all of, all of, the, in all of the blades. So I will create a folder called layouts. Actually, it's already been created probably by Laravel. Okay, layouts home. I will just rename that uh, index blade to views layouts and then home. So in our home blade, what will be static? What will never change? Um, probably this thing is going to be a variable page title or courses and then that's static, that's static, that doesn't change right navigation start bootstrap that's, that's the logo that should be static and actually let's put it to home page um, Let's call our system variable quick LMS we call quick LMS and let's put it here as well so that wouldn't change and then the menu we will actually change the menu later but probably we'll need that as a partial here um, actually let's let's stick it here for a while we won't change it much the categories we will change it so for categories we um, mm -hmm. which one to make it partial probably here include layouts menu or categories okay and then for each course so that part will be I think it's called yield no, it's called, yeah, it's yield um, main and then yield probably, actually let's stick it for now. So yield main and footer is going to stay the same. Yeah, actually there's only one dynamic part for now. We will, we will change it later. Okay, so we have our home blade and then in our index blade 
we can skip everything except for extends layouts home section name section name and all we need to do here is this so this will be our main section and everything else is is coming from that uh, layout and section I think that should work well, let's try it out it does work so we have quick elements here quick elements in the, in the title um, five courses and we have only this to change let's well yeah let's um, let's not do anything here okay next now let's create a page for our course by ID so for that we need uh, actually in the database what we've missed here is the field called slug which should be automatically created for now let's do it in a faker uh, in a factory so slug should be stir slug which I think is Laravel function from name and that name should be Baker name here and name here and let's reseed our database and see if we've got slugs which need migrate refresh will it work yep I think it worked yeah, we have slugs here. And now what we can do is to add a route. Route web PHP to have something like this. I will copy some parts. <coughs> route get courses slug. Actually course slug uses courses controller. Uh, show I think it will be as courses show okay and I'll have to create courses controller we do that with artisan artisan make controller courses controller okay we're good courses controller uh, oh, that's from admin. Okay, we have to have courses controller here. And what we need public function show slug course slug. And what do we want, what do we want here? Uh, we try to find course course courses where slug equals course slug first if we haven't found if co not course then we abort to 404 um, actually I think that would work first of fail and then if if it doesn't fail, we return view um, course with with course. Okay, so now we have uh, we have our index blade. Let's copy that to course blade. It will extend the same layouts home uh, and course blade. But instead of that for each we will have for now let's let's some let's have something like course title mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and and yeah let's add a link from index uh, yeah, from index to here what's the link yeah and we'll have route by now course from what I remember with parameter course slug 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's reload our home page. Three nars for now. Again, some bootstrap thing. We will fix it later. See in the in the upper corner in, in the lower corner. Sorry, we have a correct URL slash course slash slug. Let's click it. And um, yeah, we have no errors. Awesome. So it's all correct. It's all okay. And now we have course blade, which we can work on uh, later in the later lessons to add lessons to add tests and view all the information from the course. Uh, actually, for for the sake of being more pretty, pretty page. Let's put the description here in paragraph. That's more pretty. Um, okay, the last thing I want to do is what if we don't have that page? So, what if we don't have that course? 404. And that's that's what is done by first or fail. Um, and the problem is uh, first or fail, and I think it's 404. Uh, what I'm trying to say here, we have to have errors page with 404. We don't have we don't have it for now. Uh, let's create one. 404 blade. Four oh four, and instead of be right back, object not found. Let's see if it works. Magic. So that's how Laravel works. You just <clears throat> create a resource use errors uh, page with blade template with uh, error code, and it will automatically load it if it exists. But we need to change that to actually use the same layouts home. And instead of this, error object not found, please return to home page, right? Okay, object not found, please return to home page and we get back to our home page. I guess that's it for this lesson. So we have now the course page and we will in the next lesson we will fill in with data with lessons, uh, viewing the lessons and everything will go further. See you in the next lessons.